welcome to another edition of Achievement College, my step-by-step -step guide to getting you that gamer score. This is Aussie Gamer 17 and this is part 5 of my 100% all collectibles in Halo Infinite. Uh, I do want to let you guys know that I've heard online that some of the uh, collectibles inside the... Uh, which mission is it? It is called... The Excavation Site. I've heard that they're missable. I am going to show you how to get them. Even if you've completed the mission, there is a way back in to get the collectibles. So I'm going to show you that. But I'm also going to show you where you would get them if you were doing it while you were doing the mission. Uh, because that is probably the best way to get them as well. Alright, uh, we are starting here at Fob Bravo. I've gone and liberated that in between videos. And here at Fob Bravo, up on... The platform straight ahead is the first audio log. And from this audio log, we're going to go get a propaganda tower just off to the west. I'm just going to mark it on our map. And we're just going to head straight there. Now, I probably should mention that you can, you can use vehicles and stuff. I'm just in the habit of not using vehicles while I'm searching. For this stuff, but if you want to use vehicles to get to these things, obviously do that. And there is the propaganda tower, and we'll take it down like that. After that, guys, you're going to need to do some rock climbing, and you want to get to the very top of this mountain to the north northwest of Fob Bravo. So this mountain here, and when, once you're there, you're going to be hearing the little beeping noise of an audio log. Let's get it. Okay, and from that audio log, we're going to go into the map and just off to the west, we're going to mark up the next uh, armor locker and we're going to head straight for that as well. No need to skip the video ahead. We're very close. What happened to all these guys? I didn't do it. Wait, yes I did. <laughs> yes I did. All right, nearly there. Okay, we're going to jump down here. Oh, come on, that worked. And open the locker. And from the locker, we are going to open the map yet again. And we're going to mark this propaganda tower. And off we go. Going to go grab that as well. Nice little collectible run through here. Well, maybe not so nice with this mountain in our way, but we'll get around it. Oh, I nearly had it. Oh, I didn't clear the way this time. Who's in my way? You. I've been meaning to try this, actually. Let's, uh, grapple to there. Oh, come on. Elbows, chief. How many times do I have to tell ya? There we go. Another propaganda tower done. Okay, and just sort of, uh, where were we? Off to the, uh, east. You want to find this propaganda tower. It's just to the east of the Bengal squad. So find this tower. And you know the drill by now. Oops. <laughs> Overshot it. And... Oh, quiet. Okay, guys. And we're now we're way over on the east of this part of the map. And you're going to see north of Fob Bravo, you're going to find this Spartan Core. If you head right to where the waypoint takes you, you're not going to find this Spartan Core at all. You're going to be on the top of a structure. We need to get underneath. What you want to do is head all the way over to where my marker is. And we're going to be here sort of in amongst some of these pillars. And this is the entrance to a cave slash structure go inside i am just going to grab some ammo real quick go inside follow the path it's the only way to go you'll have to take out a whole heap of enemies some sort of fight happens here not sure if this is meant to be story related take a left go through the door and when you see this big platform hop up on top and grab yourself a spartan core Okay, guys, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move down to the Horn of Abolition and we're going to take over that base. It's another banished outpost. Uh, you have to do something a little bit different to take it over. And once you've done that, we're going to find ourselves or we're going to go pop ourselves on the mountain 
to the southeast, uh, right here where my marker is. And we're overlooking the base. And the reason I'm starting up here is because this is where our first audio log for this base is. And from that one, guys, we are going to face the base. And we're going to look at the right-hand border where this line of trees are. We're going to hop down here. Or jump, or run, or fall, whatever you want to do. And we're going to look for... I feel like I already heard the beeping. Can't hear the beeping yet, can I? This tree down here in the corner. I accidentally left some survivors. Let's just uh, take care of that. See you, mate. And grab the second audio log here. And then from that audio log, we're going to run into the base this time. In the base and it's immediately into the building on our left. And we're going to find the banished audio log straight ahead in the corner here. And then from that audio log, we're going to head through the building. I do recommend taking this out if... You haven't already destroyed these guns. Actually, I don't know if they'd be on our side or not. I destroyed them during a fight, a firefight in here. Uh, through the building and out this door and across to the other big building just across here. And just inside and around to the right. Banished audio lock. And then from this one, we're going to head back out the door that we just came, uh, came in. Head around this sort of rock structure in our way. And we want to get in there for the Spartan Core. We just need to get on the roof. And drop inside. And bada bing, bada boom. Yum, yum, yum. After clearing out the Horn of Abolition, guys, we're going to move to the north and pick up this armor locker. So head on out here and just find it amongst these uh, pillar thingamajiggies all on its lonesome. Pardon the interruption guys, but I just wanted to let you know that it takes a hell of a lot of work to make these guides and walkthroughs that I make on my channel. I need all the support I can get from you bloody legends out there. So please hit the join button to become a member of my YouTube channel or you can join my Patreon by going to patreon.com forward slash aussiegamer17. Thanks for the help, you bloody legends. Okay, guys, now I am far south of the Horn of Abolition, and this uh, propaganda tower can be really hard to show you on a map. But if you see these pillars that run um, left to right there, we, we are on the south of those pillars. Um, it's not up on the big giant mountain where you get the achievement. But down the bottom of it, south of the pillars, um, those are the pillars all there. And then if I turn around, here we are with the... I'm just trying to show you some landmarks. That's the uh, Horn of Abolition all the way down there. And then there's this big thing of big pillars in between us and that base. If you're coming from the base, you've got to climb up them. And then take out this tower. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, what you want to do now is you want to go to where the Thunder Squad uh, need rescuing. Go to that on the map. It is south of Horn of Abolition and what to the west of where we just got the uh, propaganda tower. So find the Thunder Squad and to actually rescue them, you'll find this uh, red smoke and you've got to go in that cave to rescue them. Turn around from the entrance of the cave though and wait a minute. Down on this side, down here, we're going to see a crashed pelican. What you want to do is hop down there and go into the crashed pelican, pelican for our next audio log. I'm just going to quickly show on the map exactly where we are. So now we're to the left or to the west of the Thunder Squad icon. Inside the pelican, grab the audio log. And from that pelican with the audio log, guys, uh, Coming out of the pelican and follow this road uh, to the... I think we are going west, aren't we? Yeah, to the west. And look what I found. <laughs> He's telling me not to take it down too. What was that about? Oh yeah, there's a high value target nearby as well. I'll show you where we are on the map. We are here. 
just near Tharv's Seberim, if that's how you say it. Let's shut him up. Uh, Chief, what are you doing? Chief? There we go. Well, stand back next time. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and now we are just further to the west. And we are going to go and grab the next armor locker. So make sure you grab this one. It's uh, pretty easy to find. And not too much going on around it. It's uh, just west of the uh, high value target. Uh, whatchamacallit? Thav's Seberum. Now, from here, I'm actually going to go and do something in this area before we head and finally do the excavation site. Don't forget, I'm going to show you how to do it as you go through the story mission, even though I've already completed it. Don't worry about that. The uh, magic of editing, editing will get that done. Uh, but uh, just to let you know, I'm going to be fast traveling to Armory of Reckoning and getting a collectible here on our way down to the excavation site. Let's do it. Okay, and here we are guys, right at this crossroads where these three roads meet, or two, depending on how you look at it. Right here, at the crossroads, and if you use your little thingy, or your, your ears, you'll be able to hear the audio log over here in the rubble. Grab that before we go do the excavation site. Okay guys, what we're going to do before we actually go in and start off the excavation site mission is we're going to get the Spartan core here at the excavation site. Now don't forget the excavation site is actually a big massive mission. It's not just where this little icon is. But we're right down to the southwest of the um, site. We're actually overlooking it. As you can see, this is the excavation site here. And we're going to grab the Spartan core. With the Spartan core, then we're going to actually jump down uh, over here. And we're going to go get the locker. I think it's just here. Yeah, so from that, from the Spartan core, jump down, head over here, pick up the locker. I'll just show you on the map where we are. While I try not to get killed. Those two things show up on the map anyway. So I want to get those out of the way. And from the locker here, guys, uh, we're going to go and get the next Spartan core. We're just going to go around the outside of this. Now, you can start the excavation mission, and you'll have a few things that you need to run around and do out here. Uh, but do take note, once you go inside, there might be an objective. I think it's to um, find a terminal or hit some sort of switch or something like that. You do need to be wary of picking up something in there. Well, you don't if you're following this, because I can show you how to get back in there. But... If you want to grab it while you're doing the mission, I'm going to show you how to in just a second. Anyway, come across to this building all the way on the south of the, uh, what do you want to call it, base. And we're going to uh, hop up in here and grab this Spartan core. Okay, guys, here we are inside the big excavator machine. Uh, at at certain points during the mission, you're going to be tasked with pushing this button here. Before you do that, when you're ready to hit this button, you'll see these big giant lasers and you're trying to turn it off and you want to hit this button. Before you hit that button, just turn around and grab, this will save you trouble later, grab this banished uh, audio log. Now, if you've already passed this mission and you're trying to figure out how to get back in there, stay tuned, I'm about to show you. And from that one, quickly head over this way. And all the way past here. And grab this audio log here. Okay, but what if you've already completed the excavation site and you can't figure out how to get back in here? I've seen online that people have said it is these uh, collectibles are missable. These doors here are normally open during the mission. They're open anyway. Or at some point during the mission. That door there. Uh, I can't remember if there's a door that way. But there's a door down here that's normally open. And there's also... So that door there is normally open. You can normally grapple up and come in that way. Or it might be that door. Some of these doors. And also, these are usually on. If you manage to turn them on during your playthrough, they might still be on. I have seen them remain on. Um, I think I accidentally turned one of them off during my playthrough and the other one was automatically off. 
Um, so usually, or sometimes, you may be able to get back in using those, but what if those aren't working either and you're stuck outside? Well, I'm gonna show you that in just a moment. Actually, it's gonna be a bit of a spoiler because I'm going out the way we would go in. Okay, so hop, hopping out, right where the big button was. And once again, we're stuck with the problem. How do we get in? Grav lift, not working. Not open, you can't even uh, grapple up through the hole. It's closed. Can't go up through there. Grav lift on the other side. I don't need to run around there. Closed, what do we do? Simple. Wait, where am I? That's the other one. Sorry, I did run around there. My bad. We just go back in right where I just jumped out. And all you do is jump and grapple up. And in we go and grab those two collectibles if you missed them, guys. Uh, as well as the other three or four collectibles we grabbed outside as part of the video. That is it for part five of this guide, guys. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and post a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel if you want more achievement guides and full 100% walkthroughs, guys. If you want to help support me make those sorts of guides, please remember to join the uh, channel by pushing the join button and becoming a member or come and support me over on Patreon. Appreciate all the support, guys. There's the bell. You know what that means. Class dismissed.